Trojan War, the war that set the pace for modern battles, a cataclysmic clash of empires and the birthplace of military philosophy. In the luminous tapestry of 5th century BC, this cataclysmic clash of empires unfurled, etching its indelible mark upon the canvas of time. Born from the crucible of strife, it became the quintessence of warfare. It was a conflict that raged between the proud city of Troy and the mighty Greeks. This confluence of civilizations, a clash of titans, ignited a tempest of events that would reverberate through eternity. From the heavens to the depths of the sea, the gods themselves watched, their divine influence a silent yet omnipresent force. Heroes and demigods took the stage, their fates entwined with the tapestry of mortals, shaping the course of destiny. This mighty tale begins with a grand wedding feast, a grand banquet, tables adorned with resplendent linens stretching endlessly, groaning under the weight of sumptuous delicacies. It is within the halls of this feast that the handsome Trojan prince, Paris, faced a momentous choice. From their ethereal realms, the divine deities descended, bridging the celestial and mortal domains, swaying the hearts of men as the wind sways the trees. It was an epochal moment, where belief and reality intertwined, offering Paris an otherworldly opportunity to fathom the essence of true beauty. As he stood on the precipice of choice, the presence of three extraordinary goddesses enveloped him, a glimpse into the workings of ancient legend and the ethereal pantheon. Choice, like a luminescent wing, carried his soul to the precipice of destiny, where the celestial winds would guide him towards his truest expression. Aphrodite, the enchantress of love and allure, wove her intangible threads of seduction, capturing the heart of Paris with her transcendent radiance. Athena, the embodiment of wisdom and strategy, bestowed upon him the wisdom of ages, whispering promises of grandeur and insight. And there, amidst the celestial conclave, stood Hera, the regal queen of gods and goddesses, emanating an ethereal aura of resplendent authority that enchanted the very fabric of existence. In the mystical dance of creation, every god and goddess wove ethereal strands that whispered enchantments to the hearts of mortals. Yet, it was the ethereal enchantment of Aphrodite that ensnared his very soul, bewitching him beyond the confines of mortal understanding. In the realm of his heart, her passions reigned supreme, her allure casting an irresistible spell upon his senses. Thus, his fate took a momentous turn, for he was chosen as the vessel for a sacred mission, bearing the weight of paramount consequence. His destiny called for the acquisition of the most resplendent woman in existence, Helen, the epitome of beauty itself. A solemn duty rested upon his mortal shoulders as he embarked on an arduous journey, determined to secure her presence as his cherished companion a quest fueled by the divine favor bestowed upon him by the goddess of love. But lo and behold, in this captivating tale, a whimsical irony emerged. For you see, Helen, the epitome of beauty that Paris now sought, had already pledged her troth to none other than Menelaus, the Spartan king, an exalted warrior lineage. A tiny, insignificant detail that Paris seemed to have overlooked in his impulsive quest. Ah, the follies of love. As news of Paris' audacious act reached the ears of Menelaus, the Spartan king, his initial reaction was not one of fury, but rather a perplexed amusement. After all, history has an uncanny way of repeating itself, and wars fought over women have been quite the popular pastime throughout the ages. And so Menelaus called upon his fellow Greeks, rallying them under the banner of honor and loyalty to their king, and thus, the mighty Greek fleet unfurled its sails. In mad frenzy of emotions, the likes that war thrusts into the heart of men, the clangor of armor and the thunderous chants, the Greek fleet surged forth, a formidable armada brimming with determination. Their wars, like synchronized wings, 
propelled the vessels through the surging tides, driving them ever closer to their fateful destination. The sea itself seemed to tremble under the weight of their purpose, as if acknowledging the monumental clash that awaited them on Troy's distant shores. For ten arduous and relentless years, a tempest of warriors surged upon the unyielding bastions of Troy. Like the relentless tides of an unstoppable ocean, torrents of soldiers collided in a symphony of orchestrated chaos, while the very air quivered with the whistling flight of projectiles. Amidst this celestial ballet of warfare, figures of immortal might emerged, etching their names upon the annals of eternity. Behold Achilles, a towering colossus endowed with the might of a legion, his every strike akin to thunderous reverberations. And there, amidst the fray, stood Hector, a stalwart shield against the storm, his sword a beacon of unyielding valor and unbreakable defense. Yet, despite their bravery, Troy stood resolute. The city's walls seemed impenetrable, and victory remained elusive for the Greeks. But the gods had a different plan, a plan that would unleash a deception so audacious, it would forever echo in the annals of cunning strategy. A mastermind emerged among the Greeks, Odysseus, known for his wit and guile. He was a maestro of thoughts and architect of destiny. His profound mind danced amidst the constellations of infinite possibilities, inspired by a divine whisper, he devised a plan that would turn the tides of the war. A colossal wooden horse, towering over the Trojan battlements, was crafted in secret. Hidden within its hollowed core, Greek warriors whose valor was honed to a razor's edge, awaited their chance to infiltrate Troy's fortified walls. This audacious stratagem, born from the depths of cunning and deception, aimed to breach the impregnable fortifications that safeguarded the proud city. The moment of reckoning arrived as the Greeks seemingly abandoned the battlefield, leaving the colossal horse behind as a supposed tribute to the gods. The Trojans, weary from years of siege, were filled with curiosity and dared to bring this enigmatic offering within their walls, a decision that would seal their fate. As night fell and Troy reveled in celebration, unbeknownst to them, the Greeks emerged from their wooden sanctuary. With swords unsheathed and hearts aflame, they unleashed chaos within the unsuspecting city. Troy, once deemed invincible, found itself engulfed in flames and the cries of its people. As the sun set upon the ancient city of Troy, a once proud and mighty fortress, the devastating truth echoed through the smoldering ruins, a testament to the power of strategy and the dire consequences of hubris. The Greeks, aided by their cunning and the element of surprise, emerged victorious from the belly of their wooden beast. Oh, how the Trojans, known for their wariness of Greek tricks, had let their guard down. Blinded by the allure of the seemingly harmless gift, they failed to question its true intentions. This, dear viewer, is a summer reminder that in a world where appearances can deceive, vigilance and skepticism must forever stand as sentinels against treachery. The Trojan War, an enduring parable of caution and wisdom. For even the mightiest fortifications can crumble when we lower our shields in the face of strategy. Deception wielded with skill and artistry, can become a weapon of immense power, capable of toppling the proudest of kingdoms. Thus, we stand upon the stage of history, gazing at the fallen city of Troy, where love, betrayal, heroism, and the indomitable human spirit intertwined. It is a saga that resonates across the ages, reminding us of our own vulnerabilities and the strength we possess to overcome. In the triumph of intellect and the endurance of ancient myth and legend, let us heed the lessons of Troy. With unwavering vigilance, we shall question the guise of generosity, peering beyond the surface to uncover the hidden truths that lie beneath. For in the realm of uncertainty, it is skepticism that becomes our compass, guiding us through the treacherous waters of deception. True to nature, 
We should question until the questions are solved. And so, as the ashes of Troy settle upon the winds of time, this epic tale resounds.